be, being dead. And that is when we have to make the sacrificial decision of cutting off, of letting go, of submitting and quitting. Changed. Let, let me make it make sense. I, I know that he's either on his way to the cross or he's on the cross. Either way, whether he's headed to it or he's already been nailed to it, uh, he's mishandled by people that he loves. The, 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 the problem that I see here in the text is that he has to look at his mama and his brother in the face while asking the um, amnesic question, who is my mother and my brother? He, 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 he's either walking to his death or has made his mind up about his death and has to look his mama and his brother in the face and say, who is my mama and my brother? He, he's either okay with be, being dead as God or being, mm. being absolutely turned down as being the savior from God. Don't nobody like this man. Mm absolutely done with the entire world can't depend on nobody need somebody looks his mama and his brother in the face and say who is my mama and my brother if this don't tell you about the selection that the calling is more important at, at the end of yeah. the day yeah i value family but at the end of the day i value the relationship of the calling if, if it cost me home grace, if it cost me the, the, the job, if it cost me the car, if it cost me my reputation, then like who is anybody who stands against me and the calling? It, what, what, what side are you on? If, 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 we're not, if we're not on the same side, then I'm looking at you in the eye. And that's a problem that I can look you in the face at my deepest point and not and not lay my head on your shoulder. It's, it's a problem that the position that you're in. And I think he's questioning your position on today. Where do you stand? Are you beside me? Are you in front of me looking at me? Yeah. Yeah. I know one thing that his mother is the one who pretty much initiated the works, the miracles. When Yahweh was at a certain wedding, things happened, and his mother said to him, Hey, they have ran out of wine. Right, right, right. He said, woman, what does this have to do with me? Not disrespectfully, but humbly. My time has not yet right. come, Yahweh Shai said. And his mother, knowing of who he is, where he comes from, and how powerful he is, she turns to the servants, the workers, and says, Whatever he says, you just do it. Don't question, just do it. Knowing that that time was his time. So how do we go, how does she go, how does anybody go from knowing me, knowing Yahweh, the grace, the power, the might, the God, to over here now where he has to say 
who is my mother? Where have they gone wrong? What have they done? What are they keeping themselves from? To where I don't even recognize them anymore. Yahweh Shah doesn't recognize them anymore. They knew grace. They knew salvation. But something is holding them up now. How is it that you cannot manage to get from outside of the crowd to inside of the crowd to to get my attention? But the woman suffering from the blood for 12 years can make her way yeah. through. How humble was the woman suffering from the blood compared to how humble the mother and the brethren were? Clearly, they weren't that but I don't feel like walking through that crowd. Hey, tell him this. Mm. If you don't have time to walk through BS, walk through the, mur the, the mud, the, cert the sin, the dirt, your, our filth, then that right there is letting Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, know that we don't have time for him. So that's why we choose to come to him as we are in whatever we are, are in humbly and he will graciously pick us up clean us up turn that wine back into water because that may have been what his mother was caught up on was the wine she became a wino a drunk because the only thing she wanted was the miracle of water to wine. When that was just the beginning of miracles. That He didn't even scratch the surface. Right. right, right. Why are people so caught up? Why, why are people so caught up on the first thing that God does for me? Why not step back and look at the bigger picture of God is blessing me and if you are around me and if you are a true believer of him, he will bless you because he's in the neighborhood. He's in the vicinity. All you have to do is just stand so close. Because I'm like, Job, God has blessed and put hedges of protection all around me to where my blessings are so plentiful that they run up, runneth over my cup that I have no room to receive them. So why get capped off on the first blessing that he gives? Why get capped off on... The second blessing, why turn away from, from true wisdom, true knowledge, miracles, because of the wine that's not even wine? You, 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 you know, Doc, um, a, a, a lot of people can shout right there be, because... We, we like to hear about the latter days of Job. We, we, we want to hear about the blessings that are upon us. What's, what is my due season, my time to, to reap from everything that I've, I've sown? And that's, and, that, and that's absolute word that, that God said he'll give seed to them that are known to be sowers. That if you uh, plant a plentiful, then you will reap the same. That uh, good things only grow great things back. But see, the, the, the problem in the text is that we highlight the part of the story where he 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 turns uh, the water into wine or, or makes them clearer to the understanding that uh, wine is not what you should have been begging for, but you needed the clarity of what water brings knowledge, wisdom, understanding, whichever depiction it, it, it is. It starts off by his mother at the wedding at a joyous occasion upset because the wine failed. But right. when Jesus comes in, he's not happy either because he said, it's never my time. I'm I'm. I'm talking about folk who've been sowing, but it's not your time. I'm talking about folk who's been devoting themselves to the kids, to trying to clean, to trying to please the man who just don't see it. It's not your time. I'm, I'm talking to anybody who's been giving it and got nothing but the short end of the stick on return. It hasn't been your time. 
And Jesus said, what has this to do with me? And I'm going to tell you, God, on this morning, what this has to do with you. It, it has to do with this is your child who still needs your help. This, this, this is for anybody who's come crying, asking God to show up and knowing that, that he can step up, but you haven't seen him show up at your doorstep. This, this is for them, God. This, this is for anybody who felt like I've been underplaced and underprivileged, but God, I know you still be all powerful. I just need you to do it for me. Jesus shows up and says, what has this to do with me? And she says, I don't even know. I just know that it's failing. I'm, I'm not sure what you look at on this morning. I'm not sure what you've been through this year so far. It just got started. Maybe it's already at the end of it for you, but you maybe feel like, God, I don't even know what this got to do. I just know that it's failing. And for somebody on the room on tonight, know that God can change it. It, it, it don't matter what it looked like. God can change it. It don't matter what you've seen so far. God can change it. And, and, and that's just word for me of myself. See, a lot of the times we wait for people to change it and we can change it ourselves. I'm changing my wine. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ch changing the perspective that I had on it. I'm changing how I look at it. I'm changing on how I deal with it, how I speak to it, how I come home about it. I'm changing the complete attitude. Sometimes we wait for God to show up and change something that was already good. It, it, it just failed for me to see how good it was to begin with. He, he didn't produce it. He, he only amplified it that that, that, that y'all y'all complaining about wine and you okay with the the sip of water what what have you become so comfortable with God yeah. with, that you forget how he tastes oh taste and see that yeah. the Lord is good oh, oh. don't don't yeah. don't get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. With the potency of wine that you forget the wellness that comes with water. Sometimes it's the simple stuff that you got to stay your ass home. You, you, it, some, sometimes it's the simple stuff. Like you got to go back to praying. Sometimes it's the simple stuff. T tell her how you feel about her. Sometimes it's just the simple stuff that we forget, we omit, trying to get the wine of life. This stuff don't do nothing but, and what, what is it? Uh, um, and intoxify whatever the word is it 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 just um whatever the word that goes in that blank you is ain't no good for you is the illusion it's, uh, toxify 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 good god i couldn't think of the word and yes sir that that one that that you just said right there that was it <laughs> yes, sir. I, I, I know one thing. Uh, why?